Is gold making the uh, spring top? This is an article that was published in Seeking Alpha on January 29th, 2018. Summary. We expect the uh, U.S. dollar index to rally back up to uh, 92 levels. Gold is overbought and due for a correction. A time for a consolidation is at hand. One of the highlights in the news last week was the World Economic Forum, Davos. On Wednesday, the U.S. dollar struck a weaker note. On the basis of comments by the U.S. Secretary Treasurer, Stephen Mnuchin, he said ahead of the central bank's policy decision that he welcomed the weaker currency when the euro was firm. The following day, President Trump negated his comments by confirming that he wanted a strong dollar. So there seems to be some confusion in defining the future path of the U.S. dollar as the world's reserve currency. Last week, the dollar was under pressure on expectations that the European Bank and Bank of Japan would normalize their monetary policies. The market then broke into the next phase of the bear market with Mnuchin's comments. If we put aside the political rhetoric, which seems to be the only, only to confuse the market even further, the fact uh, of the matter is that the U.S. dollar index made a new low on Thursday of 88.25. <clears throat> on Friday, the market recouped a good part of the loss from the previous day, closing at 88.89. The uh, condition of the dollar seems to indicate that the price has reached an extreme level below the mean and that there is a strong probability that the uh, that this oversold condition uh, could see a corrective rally back up to the 92 levels over the coming weeks. Upon completion of this swing rally we expect the market to come down through the month of May and make new lows during this time frame. One of the key points that we're looking at currently is the US dollar index daily chart is the March gap left at the uh, 101 levels before the acceleration took place that collapsed the uh, market to the recent loss that was made on Thursday January 25th 2018 there is uh, the uh, potential that if the dollar index enters into a corrective rally that could fill that uh, 101 gap, the uh, price of gold would probably come down to test the uh, price of uh, 1264. So we're looking at the extreme of gold above the mean while the US dollar is at the extreme below the mean. In a recent uh, report I published in Seeking Alpha on October 24, 2017, long-term secular bull market is intact, I analyzed the 18-year gold cycle as well as the 9-year gold cycle and the yearly supply and demand level. At the time of the report, the price of gold closed at 1280. One of the reasons why I'm reviewing this report is that it was the beginning of what we call a harmonic timing when the short term aligns itself with the intermediate and long term trends in the market. In my experience I have found that there is a symmetrical relationship particularly when such trends align themselves in time and price. Time is one of the important factors that measures the duration of a cycle or wave pattern in the market. The VCPMI algorithm can identify the implied volatility during a specific time frame, which identifies the average price or equilibrium of that time frame, and creates a specific structure that identifies the extremes above and below the mean. Once we are able to identify the average price, the algorithm automatically identifies the momentum of the market using specific criteria and a structure that measures the price range within the trend pattern. In, identify, in identifying the average price, we can quantify the extreme above the mean or below the mean, what we call the sell 1 and sell 2 and buy 1 and buy 2 levels. Once the price action penetrates those levels, the VCPMI algorithm can, if you wish, automatically execute trades. 
If certain behavior in price occurs, it activates specific signals in the VCPMI to go long or short, to buy or to sell. It also identifies profit objectives above or below your position. The VCPMI identifies the wave movements of the market within a specific time frame. For example, the uh, day trading signals we produce to, for, for our subscribers identify the daily volatility of the market and give you a specific structure to trade with, which we also provide for weekly and monthly trades. In this report, I share with you the weekly and monthly reports for your benefit as a self-directed individual. I have found after more than 15 years of data testing the algorithm that it has produced a consistent pattern of recognizing and identifying the extreme levels of the reversion to the mean or the relative implied volatility. It not only identifies these levels, it can execute trades using artificial intelligence or a robot to automatically execute those trades with, market, with, with, with remarkable results. It takes emotion out of the equation. It has shifted the profit factor from 1 to 1 to 2 or even 3 to 1, which is highly unusual. The 18-year cycle in the October 23, 2017 report indicates that we were about to embark on the next leg up in the gold market. I identify at the time the 50-day moving average of 1235. I also reported that it had been three consecutive months that gold had closed above 50-day moving average and gold closed above the average for the first time in four and a half years. The report identified that the long-term moving average, the 18-year moving average, was 1270 and the fact that the market had closed above 1270 activated levels that seemed to have materialized as of last week. We also reported on October 23rd that these signals also coincided with the nine-year cycle, which coincided with the 18-day moving average of 1270 and the 50-day moving average of 1245. The market closing at 1280 above the moving averages gave us a very strong signal that the market had activated a major long-term buy signal and that the long-term bull, which started 18 years ago in 1999, had resumed. In order to find short-term trading range uh, 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 and identify the main resistance and supply levels, we analyze the 12-month supply and demand, which indicates for us that the long-term trend momentum for gold was bullish with targets of 1386 and 1484. In the report I wrote, according to my analysis, you can use the extremes above the mean as your targets at 1386 to 1484, the sell one and sell two levels. We recommend easing out of long positions at these levels and that you take profits off the table. If the market closes below 1264, the market momentum changes from bullish to neutral. End of quote. If we uh, look at what happened to the market after this report, the uh, price of gold during December came down and tested that 1238 level with a low in December of about 1242. Once it tested the low of 1242, in December, the gold market rallied making a monthly reversal to close at 1314. So the price action came down through the 1264, didn't come down to as low as the 1166, but then found tremendous support at the 1238 to 1240 level to the extent that reverted back up through the 1264. This then activated the upper end of the monthly targets of cell one and cell two at 1386 to 1484. Based on our analysis using the VCPMI, we seem to be in the process of a long-term uptrend, which started December, uh, uh, excuse me, October 23rd, with a price action as of last week, making a high of 1370 for the new April futures contract, breaking above the previous high that was made in September 2017 it provides a very strong indication that the July 2016 highs are to be tested at 1387. This fits with the target of the cell one level that I published on October 23rd, 2017 of 1386. This would give us approximately a hundred dollar profit per ounce of gold or a $10,000 profit in the futures contract 
since October 23rd. Where do we go from here? As I have pointed out, it seems that the market has accomplished all of our short-term and intermediate-term targets and almost all of our long-term targets. With the market reaching 1386, we recommend that you take profits and reduce your exposure to the long side of the market. Since the market could revert back to the average long-term price of 1264, if the market closes below 1264 for the two closes in a row, then it would activate the extreme below the mean targets of 1166 to 1044. In other words, we seem to be uh, trading at the extreme levels of implied volatility above the mean or in using the algorithm VCPMI long-term sell one level of supply. We are at a point where the probability is about 90% that from this level the market will revert back down to the mean or if it trades in the range of 1386 to 1484 or close to 1484 it increases the probability to 95% of a reversion back to the mean of 12 64. We recommend to our subscribers last week to hedge their positions in gold either by synthesizing their position or by buying puts or selling calls or by during any, doing any kind of credit spread. What you do depends on your expertise as a trader, your skill and knowledge, as well as your strategy using derivative instruments. Taking a look at the current market in gold, let's take a look at the supply and demand levels we have identified coming into next week. The gold market closed Friday at 1357. The first filter that we use, the nine day moving average, continues to be bullish because the market closed above the average, which is 1307. This validates that the trend momentum of the market is bullish because the market closed above the mean. It also tells us that if the market were to come down to below 1307, it would negate this bullishness to neutral. You can use this first filter as a stop protective indicator based on your style of trading and your appetite for risk. The second filter that we use is the weekly price momentum. The VCPMI identifies the average price and the momentum of that price. The close price of the market in relation to the average price identifies a trading range, which we call the extreme above or below the mean. The cell one level is telling us that with the market closing about 1354 it has activated weekly targets of 1374 to 1392 closing about 1354 the price momentum next week is bullish but if the market closes below 1354 it would negate this bullishness to neutral It seems that the weekly average price is moving very close to the price action of the market, which indicates an overbought condition. With the market closing below the average price, it would negate this uptrend on a, in, in a second close below. 1354 would activate the targets below the buy one level of 1336 and the buy two level of 1316. The algorithm tells us, the algorithm tells you where to exit your short position which is where the trend momentum is identifying the level of demand. If the price action finds more demand than supply, we will get a reversion back up to 1354. When the market comes down to the buy one and two levels, there is a 90-95% probability of a reversion back to the mean. 